cheers to year two of Birger. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. This is going to be a blast. So we're going to start off year two with a crazy, epic monster burger. The Ox Roast Burger. Birger. Ox Roast Birger. What the heck is Ox Roast? It's a slow cooked meat and it, you dunk it in au jus and it's an eerie thing. So that's what we're going to do. If you watch my channel for about five minutes, you would know that I buy all my meat from Gordon's Butcher and Market and they make their own ox roast in-house. We're using that today. They make their own burgers in-house. These ones are the wall burger mix. This is brisket, short rib, and chuck. Mm, this is gonna be a good blend, and I'm gonna top it off with a special horseradish, some garlic cheese, and then do something special with the au jus and a little, little sprinkle of something, something tasty. Grab your favorite beer, and let's go make the first burger of year two. Cheers. We're cooking on the prototype. We got the charcoal heating up. That's Gordon's Ox Roast. Now, they cook this for like four hours, three or four hours every single day. They pump out pounds of this stuff and ship it all over the country in their eerie boxes. You should check those out. Bill's Bakery Buns. These things are fresh as can be, light and fluffy. Also made in Erie. Ooh, these coals are hot as sin, wow. This is what the pre-made wall burgers look like. Brisket, chuck, short rib. Garlic, cheese, thick cut. If you if you go to Gordon's and tell them you're making epic burgers, they'll cut you thick cheese. Fresh cut tomato. The reason I chose these Bill's bakery buns is look at the size of them. They cover up that whole burger. We've got our ox roast that's been stewing in the au jus. Take our horseradish bun, put that on top. Now, before we get to the final piece of this first burger of year two, this video is sponsored by the Steakager. Now, I've been using my Steakager Pro 40 for about three months now. And I have dry aged ribeyes, I've dry aged New York strips. And let me tell you a little bit about my experience. You take the meat, you throw it in that thing, you wait 30 days, you cut all the pellicle off of it, and you have got the most delicious steak. My son says, I don't know, Dad, maybe I've been spoiled with the dry-aged steak, but I only like dry-aged steak now. Yeah, that happens. Uh, I don't know how I feel about, about that, but uh, you know, it is what it is. He's got good taste. If you've never had a dry-aged steak, I encourage you to go find a dry-aged steak somewhere, and then go to steakager.com, check out the Pro 15 and the Pro 40. You can dry-age your own meat at home for the best steak you could possibly have. You're gonna freaking love it. Go to steakager.com. And now the final piece of the first burger of year two. You see it here? It's here. The burger with the ox roast, the garlic cheese, the horseradish, the tomato. Now, the homemade au jus from Gordon's. We're just gonna Chicago style it. We're just gonna hit it with this Borsari savory blend. You ready for this? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, that Borsari. You can taste every flavor that's added to the top of that bun. Wow, is that amazing. The garlic cheese, the ox roast, and the surprising like flavor that you're gonna want in this sandwich is the tomato. That fresh tomato is out of this world as an acid break from all of these different flavors in here. This is so well balanced. Mm. If you've never had ox roast, <laughs> you, you gotta try ox roast. Now, not sponsored, but go to go to gordonsmarket.com and order an Erie box and you can get it with uh, their homemade ox roast and it comes with the au jus and everything. You won't be sorry about that. 
Wow.